Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I would like to show you one of our most popular e-resources called Hoopla. So the way you get to Hoopla is to go to our website, sapl.ca, and you're going to tap on e-library. And we're just gonna go a little further down the page. And Hoopla is right kind of in the middle of the page depending on what device you're using. So Hoopla has movies, TV shows, ebooks, audiobooks, comics, and music. So it really, it's an all-in-one, it has everything. So we're just gonna tap on more, and we'll scroll down there. And here is all the information about Hoopla. So each of the different formats, and again, these are all digital, they have different loan periods, and they're right here. So your movies and TV shows are three days loan, and music is seven days loan, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now with Hoopla, it used to be you could only borrow five things per month but we increased that to seven items per month. So now you have more things that you can access. And the great thing about Hoopla, everything is available instantly. You don't have to place holds and there are no wait times. It's automatically available. So let's just take a peek at it. So we're just going to open it up here in the browser and you're just gonna tap on Hoopla for browser. We're gonna do that right now and I actually have it open already. So we're just gonna close it. So this will be the page that you come to. Now, if you've never used Hoopla, you will need to tap on Get Started Today. So in the box that pops up, you will need to enter an email address and create a password, and then click to agree to their terms and conditions. And once you've done that, your account will be set up and you'll log in with your email and your password. So once you've created that email and password and you log into Hoopla, you'll be brought to the main page. So the main page looks like this. So this will show you what you currently have out and it shows you how many borrows you have left so in this case i have six borrows left this month that i borrowed one item already and you can see re what's recommended for you and some favorites so let's take a look at hoopla and see what there is in there so the first thing you can do is you can do browse and then you can narrow it down by format so you could do audiobooks movies music comics ebooks and television you can also do that here in the search box where it says everything. If you tap that, we can narrow it down by all those formats, but we can also narrow it down by author and categories, publishers and series. So in this case, let's narrow it down by, hmm, let's try movies. So we are going to say that we want to look at movies. So we're choosing movies. And then if you know the title of the movie, you can put it right in here. So we are going to say we want first flight. First, whoops spelled correctly. First flight. There we are. And we're just going to tap the search button. And there is the movie First Flight. So I can tap on it. And it will give you a description of what the movie is about. And then at the bottom here, you can see where underneath borrow, it says this title is available for three days after you borrow it. And you can download titles in Hoopla. That's the great thing. All of the different formats in Hoopla, they're all downloadable. So in this case, if I wanted to borrow it, I could tap on borrow. Or let's say I don't want to borrow it right now because I'm close to using up my seven borrows. I can tap on the heart and that is going to put it under my favorites. So I'll show you where the favorites are later. Right now, we just want to look a little bit more at Hoopla itself. So let's say you don't know what you're looking for and you just want to browse. So if we go into browse, we can just tap on movies. And now we're into the movies where you can browse. So right now there are different categories. There's recommended, featured, popular, and categories. So you can see lots of different ways that you can filter by format, by release date, by patron rating, and by language. And if you have children, you can tell it to only bring up children's titles, which is kind of handy. But we're gonna get rid of that just for now. There we go. So now you're seeing all of the different titles in here. So let's say you know it's a movie that was released in the last 30 days. If we tap last 30 days, it's only going to show us movie titles that were released in the last 30 days. And again, just like when we were looking at that other movie, if we tap on one of them, oh, let's just tap on that right there. It shows you the cast, the director, the publisher, what type it is, it's the documentary, quite easy to use. So you can also do an advanced search. An advanced search, you can do it by title, by people, so if you can't remember the name of the movie, but you know it had Maggie Smith, we're gonna do that right now, Maggie Smith. And let's say I don't remember anything else. I don't know what the title was, 
I don't know when it was released, but I do know that it was a movie. So I can put in just her name and movie, and I'm going to leave everything else blank, and I'm just going to hit submit. And there we go. So that is bringing up everything that Maggie Smith was in. And so let's say, okay, there it is, Lady in the Van. That's the one I'm looking for. You can read through that, make sure it's the one you want. It shows that it's under biography. And then you would just tap borrow and it would be instantly available. And as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will download for you as well. So it's, Hoopla is very, very easy to use. Now I am on my iPad, as I mentioned. Now, if you're on a mobile device, like an, a tablet or a phone, it's definitely better if you do it through the Hoopla app. And we're just gonna pop back to our website for a moment. So under Hoopla, there is a link to the Hoopla app for Apple and the Hoopla app for Android. So I'm just gonna tap right now the Hoopla app for Apple. And it's going to pop up the app store. And in this case, I have it already. So we're just gonna tap open. There we go. So it looks a little bit different, the layout in the app than what it does when you're looking at it in the browser. And you can use it in either one. But if you're on a mobile device, it is definitely a nicer experience to use it through the app. So you'll see along here at the bottom, it always will open into your Hoopla. So essentially it's what you have checked out. It's your favorites, it's your history, all of the things that are in there. And actually if we tap favorites, you can see that one that I just did the favorite on, the first flight, it's now under my favorites. So it's a way to keep track of things you wanna watch, but you might not have the time to watch them right now, but you wanna remember what they were. That's what favorites are for. And along the bottom, you'll see there's video, and you can toggle between movies and television. There's music, both old and new. Books, so lots and lots of different audiobooks. And there are ebooks, and there are comics. And I personally have found that Hoopla has a really fantastic collection of audiobooks. So we're under popular right now. Recommended is what Hoopla thinks that you want to borrow based on what you've borrowed before. And you can actually tell it, you can, and we'll look at that later, but you can actually give it some recommendations so it'll pull up things that are relevant. And then featured are things that Hoopla is featuring right now. So those are what those three different categories are. You'll see up here on the upper right, it says genres. So we're in audiobooks right now. Let's say I want a different genre. I know I want, mm, let's say mystery. And we're just going to go a little bit further down. Now, there are different categories of mystery in here. They have cozy mysteries. Actually, let's do that right now. We're going to do cozy mysteries. So now it is only bringing up audiobooks that fall under the category of cozy mysteries. Now, up here on the left, you can see filter. So again, you can filter down here as well. So let's say I know that I want English, and in this case, that's all there is. But there are other languages in Hoopla as well. Let's just tap English. So there we are. So these are all titles that fall under the genre of cozy mysteries. And just like, just like the movie that I was showing you, you just tap on the cover, it shows you a description of it. If it is a series, and this is something I really like, if you tap on the name where it says part five of the Cackleberry Club series, if we tap on that, it will list all the different titles in the series, which is really nice. So if we tap on this one here, it shows us, if we go a little further down, it's part two in the series. So you don't have to worry so much about trying to figure out, well, which one is next in the series. You just search by the series name or the author and it will come up that way and you can look at them. So a really nice handy feature there. I'm just gonna go back a little bit here. So we were in Cozy Mysteries. We're gonna look at comics. So just like the audiobooks and the eBooks, three categories, the popular, the recommended and the featured, there are genres as well. So you can filter down by that. You can see all the different genres here on the right that I'm scrolling through. There we go. So you can see all the different comic books and graphic novels that are in here. And then eBooks. And along the top here, these are different promotions that Hoopla has on. So they're like, they're like as if we had a display here in the library, only they're a digital display. So if we tapped on Learning with Steam, if I tap on that, that's going to bring up, bring up a whole collection that Hoopla has put, put together for children and teens that have to do with Steam. So eBooks, lots of fantastic content on here, lots of new ones, some of the old favorites, something for everybody. There's definitely lots on Hoopla for children as well. So we're just gonna pop in here. 
And if you happen to be running a book club, Hoopla is a great resource to use for your book club. Because the titles are available instantly, you don't have to worry about your book club members not being able to get, get a copy of the title because they're instantly available. And that's all free with your St. Albert Public Library card. So let's look in here in eBooks and we're gonna choose, let's say biography and autobiography. And then within that, we can choose even further. In this case, I'm just gonna say, I wanna see all the biographies and autobiographies. And here we are, lots and lots of titles. Let's just tap on call the nurse. And it will show you, they will always tell you how many days you have for the loan period. If you forget which format is which, if you forget that music is a seven day loan, it will tell you. So in this case, it's an ebook and that's a 21 day loan. So let's go back to my Hoopla. So when I was mentioning to you about Hoopla showing what recommendations are, when they're showing you all these recommendations and that you can customize that, this little gear under the, on the top right, when you tap on that, you can tap on recommendation settings and then you can select the genres that interest you. And if you do that, then when you tap under the recommendations when you're on Hoopla and you're looking, those recommendations will be closer to what you're interested in. The other thing that's nice in Hoopla is you can turn on kids mode. So it's a setting designed to make children discover content easy for parents and children. It's when it's toggled on, it means that Hoopla has deemed that all the material that's in there is suitable for children ages 12 and up. Under here, there's notification settings. So that is if you want to be notified by, by email or by push notification, which means within the app, I would definitely recommend you want to be notified by email. Library settings. That's where you would be, have gone in to put your library card and your pin. Link to a streaming device. Yes, this is an interesting one. And we're going to look at that one in a couple of minutes because there's a lot of, a lot of information to pass on to you. Now this little question mark up on the upper right, Again, we are under settings right now. This is really handy because it shows you how to use Hoopla. It shows you some common error messages. You can submit feedback right away with Hoopla if you're having any problems. And there's nice little tutorials in here. So some of what I'm showing you, you can go into much more depth by looking at these different tutorials. Now something that can be, sometimes people get tripped up on this. If you are watching a television show, we're just gonna randomly pick one. There we go. And you can see how each of these, there's a number of different episodes, episode one, two, three, etc. Each of those episodes counts as one borrow. So you get seven borrows per month. You can, doesn't matter whether it's a movie or a TV show or an ebook, each of them counts as a borrow, but each episode of a TV show also counts as a borrow. So that is Hoopla. It is super easy to use. It has, as we mentioned, it has audiobooks, a really great collection of audiobooks movies for all ages, music, comics, ebooks, and television shows. And I definitely recommend that you give it a try. It's all found through SAPL, S-A-P-L.ca, our website, under eLibrary. And you're just going to tap on Hoopla and all the information is there. And it's all free with your library card. Thank you.